Hello everyone, welcome to my multiple part series on how to get into Blender, especially from an SFM background. Uh, this video, uh, these uh, tutorials are pretty much going to help you to rig game models and, you know, learn how to animate with them, you know, different types of rig styles that I personally, you know, uh, have found out. So to start off, uh, I'm not, we're not rigging any character today, I'm just trying to like introduce some add-ons that you know you should definitely look into getting these one add-ons are kind of necessary they're not necessarily for animation but i definitely think they definitely do help when it comes to animation so um the first add-on we have here is a uh, dynamic parenting i'm going to leave a link in the description to all these add-ons by the way so no don't worry about it you can pretty much just search dynamic parenting blender on google or anything and you can you know, pretty much get them easily but uh, yeah, the first add-on is uh, dynamic parenting. It pretty much allows you to uh, connect and disconnect objects, download it, and you know test it out. It's really good. It's really good. It works on bones and meshes, so that's really cool. Animate is pretty much uh, up to you in the graph editor side. You know, uh, you know if you don't know, Blender also has a graph editor, and uh, you know Animate just helps. You know, just you know, I don't really use it that often though, but it. You know when I do use it, it really helpful. Pretty much helps you to edit the keyframes a lot better. The next add-on is a uh, Bagapai. Bagapai is not really for animation; it's pr pretty much for a scene setting. It can definitely make things much more convenient. Blender Kit. You can pretty much find uh, can, uh, you can find so many materials and free models you can use. I use them mainly for to get some materials in case like I want to add something on my character maybe like one time like that i added a bandage i was looking you know instead of looking the internet or for the material i can easily just drag and drop the material from blender kit anim extras is it's called anim extras uh this one it's responsible for onion skin i don't know why it's called anim extras but <laughs> whatever and then the last one is a post library post library these are all add-ons post library um Post library, you don't actually download it from the internet. You actually get it from, it actually comes with Blender 3.0, if you didn't know about that. So search post library and make sure that you tick it. This is a different thing. This is for another uh, add-on. This is the add-on I'm talking about, post library animation. So uh, make sure you tick that and uh, you'll be able to see it over here. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to use that. Uh, here it is. But uh, yeah, these are all the add-ons that you that I pretty much would recommend for animation. All of this. Another one is uh, this uh, website here is pretty much uh, I have it open here. It's pretty much a site where you can download the workshop um, SFM workshop um, SFM workshop models. Uh, all you have to do is literally just paste the URL here. Like you can search SFM uh, TF2 characters workshop. That's what I downloaded to get uh, the engineer that you see over here. I already have all the files. Pretty much have all the characters. I'm guessing it's a little bit enhanced from what I see. Enhanced textures. So yeah, if you were looking for something like this, you can definitely should definitely look into that. All you have to do is literally copy paste and you, here you just download it and you know it goes into your computer uh know about the body parts though yeah you can pretty much get any model and download it and there you can port it to sfm to a uh, blender sorry and uh you probably might have to put some materials on it but that'll probably be for you know probably have to look up tutorials about that they're definitely they're different amount of there you know various ways to get uh, SFM models into Blender but this is just one of the ways so yeah hope you take note of that and uh, yeah that's uh, I think that's pretty much all that I, can, I, I, I have to cover in this episode so hopefully you stay tuned to the next episode and that episode I'll actually be rigging the characters so um, and you know preparing for animation and uh, yeah hope you have a nice day